Question number four. A group of 100 adults recorded the amount of time, T minutes, they spend exercising each day. The results are summarized in the table below. A histogram is drawn to represent this data. The bar representing the time 0 is less than or equal to T is less than 15 has width 0.5 cm and height 6 cm. Part A. Calculate the width and height of the bar representing a time of 60 less than or equal to t is less than 120. This question carries three marks. Here in this question number four, you have this table given. And in part A, it says, using this information table, the data in this table, a histogram is drawn. And in this histogram, this interval 0 to 15 represented by a bar right the bar has width 0 0.5 centimeter height 6 centimeter that's the information given. now they want me to find the the bar representing this interval right what will be the width and height of this bar the bar representing this interval so how do we do that usually when you draw a histogram the width will be represented by the the width of the interval so in this case it's 15 so you see 15 centimeter is represented by 0 0.5 centimeter it's scaled down to 0 0.5 centimeter width of the ball so how about here here the class interval is 60 centimeter so 60 centimeter will be represented by what so we need to find w just cross multiply and make O W as a subject. So 15W is 0 0.5 times 60. W is 0 0.5 times 60 divided by 15. So 4 15s are 60. 4 times this is 2 centimeter. 2 centimeter will, the, will be the width of the ball representing this, this particular data. That's how you find the width. Now talking about height, so the width of this bar is 2 cm. Now, when you draw a histogram, the width will be this class interval, or you can scale down to any particular scale factor. But how about the height? The height will be the frequency density. How do we find the frequency density? The frequency divided by the class interval, the class width, that will be the frequency density. So for particular this one, the frequency density will be 25 the frequency divided by the class width which is 15 this should be the frequency density so this is represented by 6 cm understand i'm going to repeat this again when you draw a histogram the width will be the width of this class interval this class interval the class width but the height of the histogram the each bar right will be represented by the frequency density. What is the frequency density? The formula is frequency density is frequency divided by the class width. Not this width, the class width, the class, the interval. This, uh, the difference between these two numbers. So the height of the bar will be represented by this. So for the particular data, the height of the bar will be frequency divided by class width, which is 25 over 15 but it's represented by 6 cm in the diagram scaled down to some particular scale factor now they want you to find the height of this one so here what will be the frequency density frequency divided by the class width so 24 over class width is here it's 60 this will be rep represented by what centimeter that's what you need to find cross multiply and find h so we can find h by cross multiplying h times this 25 divided by 15 times h equals 6 times this 24 over 60 times 6 so h will be just make h as a subject how you want to do it up to you this is 5 over 3 basically so bring it here it's on 10 so 24 over 10 times 3 over 5 which is going to be 30, 60, 72 over 50 centimeter. 
So the H will be represented by 72 over 50 centimeter or you can change it to decimal or you can write it as 1.44 centimeter. This will be more appropriate. So that's how you find the width and this is the most common question. So you need to remember this always compare like this and then cross multiply. But when they talk about width and they talk about height, right? You cannot just take the figure. You need to take the frequency divided by the class width represented by six centimeter. And then frequency divided by class width represented by what? Cross multiply and find out.